Okay, I'm Sue and welcome to The Art of Flavor. Recently, I picked up some canned heart seltzers and I realized, hey, I can make this myself. I wanted to show you just how easy it is. You just need a few simple ingredients and our flavors. It's way tastier and so much more cost effective. Are you ready? Let's get started. First up, I'm gonna make a pineapple hard seltzer. Start with ice, a tall glass. So I'm gonna choose some pineapple pieces. This is all decorative and it's not necessary, it's just fun. And this is not gonna flavor the drink, it's just gonna make it prettier. Add more ice to pop it up, basically. I'm going to add some sparkling water. I'm gonna fill it up here. And I've already made my cane sugar syrup. Equal parts, one to one, cane sugar and water. You bring it up to a boil and you cook it for about a minute and then you've got cane sugar syrup. Okay, I'm going to add my vodka first. If you don't want to make it a hard seltzer, it's just as delicious, believe me. It's about half an ounce. If you want to go for more, you can go for an ounce. And I'm going to add cane sugar syrup. There we go. It's about one and a half teaspoonfuls. And of course, our star, our Kenyan pineapple. You need about 10 to 12 drops. That's all you need. I'm gonna give it a quick stir. I'm gonna use this here. Okay. And I like it without vodka, with or without, depending on the day. I'm gonna use a little garnish. Why not? There you have it. You've got your pineapple hard seltzer. It sings a pineapple. Cheers. That's really good. It's so refreshing. It's better than drinking from a can. Pineapple hard seltzer. Next, this one's gonna be watermelon hard seltzer. Again, you've got ice. I've got the cutest, the sweetest, teeny tiny watermelon. <laughs> okay, I had too much. I've been making these all day. I'm gonna fill it up a little bit more and fill with sparkling water. Satisfying. The fizz, the bubbles, it's all good. And again, you don't have to make it a hard seltzer. You can make it a beautiful watermelon seltzer, but we're gonna go for it this time. Half an ounce and a little bit of cane sugar syrup. Do not forget your watermelon. It's like summer in a tiny bottle. 10 to 12 drops is all you need. And it's, it's like taking a bite out of the juiciest watermelon. It's so refreshing. Oh gosh, that is so cute. There you have it, watermelon heart seltzer. Mm, that is good. It is so um, baloney, <laughs> watermelony. One more sip. For our next heart seltzer, we've got blackcurrant. And again, you've got to add a little bit of ice and then get it down there because I don't want it to float up. It's just a garnish, and again, you don't have to. I'm gonna tantalize you with some fruit and fill with sparkling water. Just like one of those commercials, you can hear it. Okay, this is great for those ASMR people, right? And again, we're gonna add half an ounce of vodka or more or nothing at all. There we go, and cane sugar syrup and black currant. 10 to 12 drops. It's fruity, it's woodsy, foresty, it's beauty on the nose. A little stir. I'm gonna add a few more there. Now that's beauty, isn't it? These are halved. And this is a fun way to garnish because it just looks so dramatic. Have that like that and just see the, the gorgeous fruit inside. Black currant heart seltzer. Let's taste it. The nose is amazing. You can taste the black currant from the first whiff. And my last is passion fruit. This one I don't have a garnish. It's just beautiful as is. Fill it up with sparkling water and vodka or no vodka, half an ounce. Personally, I think half an ounce is the right balance for this beverage, but again, if you love more, you can have more. And a little cane sugar syrup and passion fruit. It is passion in a bottle, my goodness. It is luxurious. 
passion fruit hard seltzer. Mm. It smells decadent. It's like a luxury. So I love that feel of the passion fruit. There you have it. Pineapple, watermelon, black currant, and passion fruit hard seltzer. This helps you to hold on to summer a little bit longer and it tastes so much better than the canned variety. Get your flavors and make it your way. Keep checking our community posts because I want to hear from you and I'd love to know what you want to see next. Hit like and subscribe. And if you like what you saw, tap that bell icon so you don't miss an episode because we have a lot more recipes coming your way. Thanks for watching. Keep it flavorful. Obviously the flavors are everything, but come on, look at that. <laughs> mm.